rose clay mask. So let me just clean up my area quickly. So here is the rose clay mask. Um, I have used this a couple times as well. I'm going to use it over the same area so you guys can kind of see. Or I guess I could do my forehead. Let's do my forehead. Why not? <laughs> um, so I'm just going to dampen it or wipe it off a little bit. It says, spread evenly on cleansed skin, leave on for five minutes, or when mask becomes dry to touch. Remove gently with a warm, a wet, warm washcloth or rinse off with clean hands. So again, I'll be using the same thing. Um, I just made sure to clean off my forehead a little bit um, from that exfoliator. My skin is so smooth right now. Um, but here's the rose clay healing mask. So we did a little glow up. <laughs> That's what the other one is called. This one's healing. Um, it looks great. It has a nice, really nice, pretty rose color. Um, well, just that like nice light pink color. Um, since we talked about the mask applicator, let's use it so I can show you how it works. Um, but here, just like taking a little bit onto a mask applicator. As I said, I think I'm just going to do my forehead um, just so I can show you how it works. But as you can see, this mask applicator, what's great is nothing's going to be left on your hands. As you can see with that like first scrub, what I did, I had a decent amount left on my hand and then I had to wipe it off on the um, washcloth, with, which actually wasted some of the mask, which is not ideal if you are, you know, wanting to conserve and, you know, not waste your money um, because this stuff is amazing. Um, what I learned about this skincare brand when I was looking into them is they're Indian inspired. It's a clean skincare company. Um, they're all about holistic skincare rituals. I just really love them. Um, and one of the things they say, so looking at their, um, their rose clay mask. So, um, one thing that it says about this is ultra sensitive skin. We're here for you. According to ancient, all natural Indian beauty rituals, pomegranate seed oil is often paired with saffron to regenerate skin and slow the aging process yet remains gentle enough to use on extremely sensitive skin. I have slightly sensitive skin. So um, as you can even tell by a little bit of redness, that's just very common for me. Um, so I like to always stick to things that are clean beauty, um, things that are good for my skin. I'm not putting any extra too many chemicals on there. Um, but this one with the sensitive skin, it's great. It's also topped off with distilled rose water. This uniquely purifying cocktail preserves moisture while detoxifying the skin. She glides on smoothly and without irritation. And don't let that fool you. She is mighty. So this is their rose clay mask. It says it has saffron, pomegranate, and rose water, as you heard in that description. It feels so great on my skin. Um, and it says that it draws out impurities, restores damaged skin, and improves skin elasticity. Formulated with saffron, pomegranate, rose clay, and rose water, as I just said. So um, this is looking nice, <laughs> as you can see it on my forehead. Um, might have a little more on this side than on the other side. Let me spread it out a little bit. But even just getting back to this, um, the mask applicator, it is, I mean, I just had to wipe like ever so slightly off. I mean, I could have just wiped it on my nose, but there is like no residue on this, which means that you're like not getting any waste um, when you use this applicator. So that is great. And that is a plus because we like to save money over here <laughs> um, and not be wasteful with our products too. So um, love this. So I'm going to put that away again, has the nice little cap on there and then I'm going to close her on up. Um, but then also while we're waiting for this to dry, I am going to talk about, we'll be getting into this pore perfect. There's this pore perfecting 